In this video, I'm going to show you step-by-step -step how to make a pro-level speech teleprompter without breaking the bank. I'm going to outline the exact parts you'll need and how to put it all together. A teleprompter is simple. It's just a transparent mirror at an angle over a display. In fact, it's quite easy to make a professional quality teleprompter if you know how. Hi everyone, it's me, your favorite YouTuber, back at it again with Teleprompter Mastery. I've been making a ton of YouTube videos with teleprompters, and now I'm so excited to share my knowledge with you. Without a teleprompter, my videos would look something like this. Here are a few products and projects. Here are a few products and projects that we have created. DIY is in there somewhere. Mm -hmm. So to save your time and your sanity, let's get started. The magic of the teleprompter is the beam splitter, which is highly transparent so you can record straight through it. The reflection of the script is invisible on the backside, so only the speaker can see it. It's super simple to build a presidential teleprompter, if you know exactly what to get. I've thoroughly researched to find affordable, high quality parts. Let's run through the complete list of what you'll need to build a teleprompter. Check out the description for the links. Light stand. Use a heavy duty light stand for extra stability. A heavy duty light stand is the foundation of your teleprompter. It stabilizes your unit at a minimal cost so it doesn't tip over. Pro tip. When using a teleprompter outside, you can stake it down or attach weighted bags. You'll also need a beam splitter glass. The rounded corners give a nice visual appearance while preventing accidental bumping and breaking. You'll want your mirror to be at least the size of the display you are using. This is because as the display gets further away from the mirror, the text becomes smaller. I'm using an 18 by 18 inch in this video. For comfortable viewing, I recommend a minimum of 14 by 14 inches or larger, especially if you want to be far away from the mirror. It has a special dielectric mirror coating on low iron glass, which minimizes tint and allows a crisp reflection of the script. It also has an anti-reflective coating on the backside to eliminate ghosting. Hey now, I didn't mean actual ghost. The best angle for your mirror is 45 degrees or more, and you can fine tune the angle to center your display. You can easily use a DSLR phone, or other recording device directly behind the glass on a tripod. A lot of people ask me, how is it even possible to record through a mirror? Drape a black cloth over your camera to block out any of the reflections. Binder clips also help hold the black cloth in place while recording it through the glass. If you also want to put a black shroud on your outdoor teleprompter, you can do that too. You just won't be able to see right through it. You'll want to double down on your cloth to prevent all light from getting inside. To hold the glass, I use a Nikon 7070 window mount, normally mounted on a car or for binoculars. When turned upside down, it's the perfect clamp for a teleprompter because it provides easy adjustability. You can place a tripod with your camera mounted on it just behind the light stand, as close as possible to ensure there won't be any reflections. You can use an Allray combo thread adapter to connect your Nikon window mount to the light stand. You'll need this additional adapter to fit right inside of it. This is an on-stage MSA 9508 Fozzy Lock Side mount microphone boom. It connects the laptop tray to the stand. There's also an on-stage MSA 5000 mic stand laptop. This is what we use to hold our iPads. The pile projector stand. This is an optional part. It's useful for using a large display, such as a 32 inch or above. Choosing your display. A Samsung TV, which has been a mirror flipped, makes a perfect display for a large scale teleprompter. Simply press mute 182 power to access the mirror mode from the hidden menu. 
We have another video dedicated just on flipping your screen. Check it out, we'll post the link in the description below. I also like using an iPad for fast teleprompting because the app I use has automatic voice scrolling. I simply place my iPad on the laptop tray. One cool feature I just discovered, an iPad can also be plugged directly into a monitor or TV using a standard USB-C to HDMI adapter. This provides for easy viewability on a big screen while still being able to use my favorite teleprompting apps. Now that we've gone through all of the parts, let's put this together. We'll start with this adapter. And you have another certain piece that you have to add to it. Just like that. And then you can place either side onto the top of the teleprompter stand, the light stand. Okay. Make sure it's sturdy. And then you grab the Nikon mount. Now on the bottom, you just place it right on top and just keep screwing it until it's tight. Just turn this knob and then pull them down to whichever height that you want. If you want it to be taller, you can unscrew the other ones and lift them up, tighten it back up, just like that. Now this clamp up here is where, is where you'll place the mirror. So you'll have to unscrew it and it will open up. And you want to put the mirror right in between these two pieces. So make sure it's centered. And you screw it right back in. This will not break the mirror. So you want it tight. Now, you use this knob right here to angle it. So you have to twist it. And it'll go down. Straighten that out, just like that. And you'll want your mirror to be eye level. So for example, for me, I twist these knobs down here and bring it up probably to about right there. So you want the center of the mirror to be eye level. So you'll want to attach this end right here. Just screw it on until it's tight. And tighten this up so it's not moving around. So after putting the ball joint adapter onto this, this put it right onto the tray. So it's nice and tight. You can use this little wheel to tighten it, but I don't need to. And then you have your tray. You can angle it just like that. And then tightening it back up. Now you can use this. It should be right there. And then very gently stick it onto your stand and you can screw this back in. Just make sure that's tight. And you have your iPad mount. Now you can adjust this anywhere on the light stand. So say I want to put it up here. I can put it right up here and then I can screw this right back in to hold it in place. So what this is doing is that it's tightening it. So you want to angle it right there, right there. Then you can take your iPad and place it right on the display. 
and you can angle it, you can move it, you can do whatever you need to do. But normally you want to have the iPad right in the middle. The assembly takes 60 seconds or less. That's it. You can give a live speech in seconds. Okay guys, let's see it from the other side. Trying to put the recordings into something coherent was a real struggle. So to organize my videos, I would always speak the headings and structures and everything. That way it helps my video editor. So there you have it. My complete guide for how to make your own presidential teleprompter. I really hope you enjoyed learning about how to make a presidential teleprompter with me. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like and subscribe. Any questions, leave them in the comments below or send me an email. I'm excited to hear about your teleprompter projects. Okay guys, I gotta go, but thanks for tuning in and I will definitely see you in my next video.